Hello, I'm Casey with Hi Pie, and today we are going to make a veggie pot pie. Hi Pie is a wholesale baking business, and we also have a cute shop in Haleiwa, inside the Haleiwa bottle shop that sells local products. Um, the first step is gonna be rolling out the pie dough. So you're gonna wanna take, you're gonna grab a rolling pin, whatever you have at home. It can be wood or ceramic, um, and then some flour and your, your dough balls. So you're just gonna place some flour on, on a surface, whatever you have at home, a countertop, cutting board, um, and you're gonna just push the dough, make it kind of a little bit flatter to work with, and put a little dough all, or a little flour all over it. And then when you when you're pressing out the dough, you just wanna do an even amount of pressure and rotate as you as you roll. So you're going to just be even pressure and then continue to rotate, um, depending on the shape that, that you want. Um, so whatever the vessel is that you're gonna be using, you're gonna wanna kind of roll it out to that shape. So today we're gonna use, our vessel is going to be square. So we're gonna do more of a, a square shape. So this part just takes a little while. You're gonna wanna just do it even, consistent, you might need some more flour so it doesn't stick. So you're gonna wanna have it to be pretty, well you still wanna, you don't want it to be too thin, you don't wanna be able to see through it. You're gonna spray the pan with, with cooking, or spray the dish with cooking spray so it doesn't, so it doesn't stick and it comes off easy. And then you're just gonna place it over top. And be sure you form it to the shape, get in the cracks or get in the crevice of the, dish, whatever dish you're using. Okay. And then from here, I like to put it in the fridge or the freezer so that it hardens up. Um, either one, fridge or freezer works perfectly. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm all about a rustic, more rustic look. Okay, and then the top, same thing. Um, and now if you wanna, you could, there's so many options here. You can roll it out and, and cut it into lattices or cut it into strips so that you have like lattice. You can just make one big sheet. You can, again, you can do whatever you feel like doing, however you wanna do it. Um, but we're gonna just do this one as a solid piece. Um, also with these two balls, they're two eight ounce balls, so you don't, you don't really need this much dough for the top. So if you wanted, let's say you had like a bigger dish, like a, you know, like a casserole size, like a nine by 13 that you wanted to use it for, you could take some of this ball and cut it and add it to the other ball so you have more dough for the base. Um, so there's a lot of options, just depends on what you wanna do. So when you remove the dough from the refrigerator, or you can have it in the freezer too, depending on where you are gonna store it, whether you're gonna use it right away when you get it. Um, if you're not gonna use it right away when you get it, you can put it in the freezer and it'll last for a um, couple months. If you're gonna store it in the refrigerator, like two, two weeks is probably the most that you wanna have it in the fridge. Um, when you remove it, when you're ready, you're like, today I'm gonna make a pie. You would pull it out maybe maybe 15 minutes beforehand, so you can kind of get a little softer. It can, it can soften up a little bit before you use it. Once you get started, it's really gonna be super easy to use. You really don't wanna have it sit out longer than that because it'll get too soft and it'll get too buttery and, and it'll just go. And then I've put a, kind of a lot of flour on it so it won't stick. And then I just placed it inside. So that's one way you can do it. Or in the fridge, either way, freezer or fridge, whatever. So now we're gonna make the filling. It's a vegetable pot pie. So we are using Hawaii Ulu Co-op squash, and we have carrots and celery, onions, and garlic are the main items in this pie. So we're gonna start with butter. 
Everything's better with butter. And we're going to add some oil to that so the butter doesn't burn. So a little bit of both of those and let that butter melt. Um, you want the temperature to be around medium. This is like a half an onion or so. If you have other things in your refrigerator, the recipe is more of a guideline for you to go off of if you're not, just a guideline for you to go off of. So if you have other vegetables that you wanna use, if you have, bro if you have broccoli, if you have other squash, if you have chicken or if you have beef, anything, it, you can put anything you want in pie. Um, I've had a lot of fun making all different kinds of pies when I um, was supplying Village Bottle Shop with pies. Um, so no stranger to throwing random stuff in pie. It's really fun. Soaking them and letting them sit in water overnight in the fridge, it, like storing them cut in water is better and it keeps them crunchy and, and fresh for longer than if you were to just cut it and put it in the fridge, it could get soft. There's a lot of places on Oahu to get local produce. Um, Farmlink is a great resource because they have just a lot of seasonal from all over, um, from farms all over Oahu. So that's a really good place to get to get produce. And then your your local farmers market on wherever you live, um, whatever side of the island that you're on, um, is also obviously a great resource as well. So we're just going to stir this up. Like layering the seasoning is really important. Um, we're gonna cook this for like around like 10 minutes or so, seven to 10 minutes. The last thing we're gonna add is the garlic. Um, garlic has a nice way of having a little spice and if you don't wanna burn it, if you add it too soon, it'll like stick to the bottom and it'll burn. If you wait till the end is better, so do that. Um, so we're gonna just stir this occasionally, but let it just cook. Okay, so now we're gonna add our garlic and stir that in. And then after you add your garlic, let that cook just a couple minutes. And then from there, you're gonna, you're gonna do a heaping scoop, half a cup of flour. And I just dust it all over and you're just gonna wanna toss it and be sure that it's all coated and absorbed into the liquid that's there, the, the oil and the butter and the liquid from the cooked veggies. So it'll just kind of like coat everything nicely. Okay, and then you're gonna add, so I'm using chicken stock. I'm using chicken stock, but you could use veggie broth. You could use, I mean, even if you only had water, I mean, you could use that too. You could get really simple, just season it. So let that cook and you're gonna add a couple bay leaves right now. And then you're gonna wanna get it to a nice simmering boil. Cause you wanted to get it thick and it needs to, it needs to simmer and, and start to bubble in order for it to thicken. So kind of wait for that. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper right now. We're gonna turn up the heat just a touch. So we're getting a boil. It's thickening up at this point. Um, also, if for some reason at this stage, you're feeling like it's too liquidy or too, um, it's just not thickening up the way you want or maybe you really want it to be really thick, you can add, you, you can add a little bit of water, water and flour together um, to, to make it thicker. So that would just, just a little bit of water and flour, whisk it up. Be sure you get all the little, get the flour all incorporated. And like I said, this just depends on how thick you want it to be. Okay, we're going to be sure that our filling is cool all the way and you can do this the day before as well. So these steps can all be done um, prior to putting it together. 
So we're gonna just add this to our prepared pie crust. Okay, and then we're going to put our top on. And I like to tuck it in down into the sides before I like roll it all together, just to kind of secure what's inside. And then for me, I just, I'm more of a rustic look myself. I'm not into the pinching the sides, but if you are, you should absolutely do that. This is your own expression. Should be fun. Pie is supposed to be fun. It's a good way to get everybody involved. Everybody in the family and friends. It's a great, it's a great way to bring people together. Okay, so that's it. And then we're gonna brush it. You can use your fingers. So this is one egg, just whisks together. Be sure you get the sides, and the edges. We're gonna cut a couple slits. And then we're gonna bake it for 45 minutes. So stay tuned. Mm. So if you'd like to make this recipe again, or another pie, um, some places that you can get pie dough are obviously the grocery store. You can buy it in sheets or actual pie crusts. Um, you can also go to highpiehawaii.com and the recipe for our pie dough is there along with other recipes. And then over the holidays, we offer our pie dough in, um, they comes in packages of two eight ounce dough balls. Mahalo for watching and happy cooking.